everyone, it's Laura Mitchell reporting to you live from the Digital Health Summit studio at CES 2016. I am here with Kara Suboy, and she's a reporter from CNET, so welcome. Thank you, great to be here. Thanks for coming. Um, tell us a little bit more about what CNET is. CNET is one of the largest uh, media companies in the world. It's purchased by CBS, now okay. called CBS Interactive. We create tech content, tech news, tech reviews. It's a force to be reckoned with in the tech journalism space. Yep. I'm a reporter for CNET. Okay. I cover technology, obviously, for the TV audience. All of my stories go out to the CBS uh, TV affiliates. So say you live in Wichita, Kansas, and you are craving some tech news in your newscast, but you know, Wichita, not totally the hotbed for tech. Right. That's when you would plop in one of my stories based out of San Francisco yes. okay. into your newscast. So we are able to get out tech news information um, to the entire country since we are living in the epicenter of tech news in the San Francisco Bay Area. So, I mean, this is an obvious fit that CNET would be at, at the Digital Health Summit. So tell me, what, what, what have you seen in the Digital Health Summit? What are some trends that you're seeing? It's all about wearables. And okay. that's actually the uh, panel I just moderated. But wearables, wearables, wearables. And what's really neat is, this is my sixth CES, personally, and for CNET. And I remember several years ago, the very first like wearable was like this huge, yeah. chunky armband. And they gave us one. They're like, here, this is your free gift since you visit our booth. That thing just sat in the closet. It's like, who wants to wear something right. so unattractive, so bulky? I don't care if it measures my steps or heart rate. It's ugly. Right. So what's really and exciting clunky. to see yes. this year is that wearables are becoming fashion forward. They're sleek. There's something that a woman or a person wants to put on their body, and that obviously is a pain point. If you don't want to wear it, you're not going to wear it. Right. So who cares if it can make you a healthier person? Again, if it's unattractive or if it's uncomfortable, ugly, you're not going to wear it. And I guess the first step with wearables is that it actually has to be worn to work, right? Exactly. So, I mean, you can't even get to any sort of point of data collection until you actually get them to wear it. Yes. So, um, from geek to chic, what, was, what else did you talk about on that? So we were talking with two gentlemen, uh, Sunny Vu and Preston Moxie. Miss, misfit. Right. right, and what's really interesting is um, Fossil Group purchased Misfit at the end of last year. Oh. And these two gentlemen swapped roles. So Sunny Vu, creator of Misfit, right. he is now the CTO and president of Connected Devices for Fossil. And then Preston Moxie was with Fossil Group, and he is now wow. the general manager of Misfit. So it's obviously a way to integrate the company. So I was on stage with those two fellas, and had a really great discussion about a lot of what we're talking about, the fashion forwardness, sure. the, the geek to chic of the wearables, and also where we're going to go, you know, um, some of the problems that they are actively trying to solve with wearable devices, and why this merger really makes sense as far as coming up with the answers to those problems. Well, that's awesome. So how can we get in touch with you? Where Can we follow you online? You can find me at CNET. Okay. You can follow me on Twitter at CNET Cara. Um, and hey, tune into your local CBS station. You might, might just pop up on your evening news. Nice. Thank you so much for visiting with us today, Cara. Cara, reporter from CNET. I'm reporting to you live from the Digital Health Summit studio at CES 2016. This is Laura Mitchell.